Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hope you uh, are fine, guys. Uh, today I'm just going to show you a simple program in Python. With the help of that, uh, you can find the size of an arc. If uh, uh, you just enter the radius as well as the angle, then you need to find out the size of an arc. You can just by substituting the formula in the Python program. Get the uh, result on the screen itself, and I would suggest you just to cross check also. You can make use of your geometry box also. I hope uh, you are carrying your own geometry box and uh, just practice it. And as usual, guys, I just proceed with my first slide. Those who are newcomers can subscribe to my uh, channel so that you can make a note of my email address and all. Uh, proceed with that. Just take it out. Uh, this one is. Uh, my email address is m o h b a d d a d sixteen at gmail dot com. So now the second slide, which uh, is related to the programming part, which is uh, uh, it will show on the screen. You can get the flowchart as well as the picture. What is an arc and what is a circle and all. And just uh, for the sake of time. A circle has to be 60 degrees. In the program, it should be defined the condition that the given is entered more than 360 degrees. Condition in the program itself for it's not satisfied and it's just out of the program. That's what I'm looking for. This is the part of an arc. This is an arc actually, and the formula is two pi r by 360 degrees. And now this is the flow chart. We need to find a flow chart. This uh, allows you to prove that you all know what is the uh, flow chart. And here we define what the uh, first variable that is the second person and the second person on the part, right? And then the diameter and the length and the stability is just enough for me to be able to see it on the screen. The user can enter the values for the diameter as well as uh, the Angle and after that we are need to check the condition. I mean, suppose that we believe in just this sort of uh, signs and symbols. Everyone should know that that one is for condition. I'm just checking out the condition here. The angle is more than 360. Uh, what will happen? The condition is not satisfied. That means that it's not a circle. And uh, you get uh, this part. The program will execute this part. Otherwise, what will happen? You get uh, the will execute. It will compute the result, and you get a, a result on the screen. Now I'll proceed with the programming part. Uh, uh, now uh, here is the program. What is uh, C? Uh, so simple here that uh, program is uh, uh, you define a function. Uh, function name is arc length, and the pi is 22 by 7 is a uh, its remain constant. And all of you know what is uh, pi. Those who are using circles and all. Uh, you know that what does it mean that and there are few formulas that what uh, you need to know to calculate anything in mathematics so now these two variables we define and just uh, by using the prompt uh, user has to get the values from the program you just enter uh, even if one you can enter in the float also okay and this is the condition if the angle is more than or equal to 360 then what happen it will uh, you may get this part uh, Error. It's not possible. Otherwise, it will compute the size of an arc uh, by using this pi into diameter into angle d or angle 360, and you get a result. Just let me execute this program just by pressing F5. You see that diameter of a circle. Uh, I'll just enter the diameter as 14, and uh, angle is let's say 45. Okay. So you see the result. The size on, of an arc is uh, uh, 5.5. Let me give it just execute one more time. I just give some other values and see what will happen. Now the diameter of a circle. I'm just using 5.5, and uh, measure of an angle is 30. So let's take 30, and you see. So now we get a decimal point here. That's what. So now I hope uh, you guys understand what is uh, an arc and how to find the size length of an arc. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the my next uh, video and just subscribe and have a nice day and enjoy your holiday today thank you